National Innovation Strategy, Innovation Roadmap, an introduction to National Innovation Strategy from the Research Council. Welcome to Innovation Roadmap, a special program brought to you by the Research Council with Radio Sultanate of Oman. Today, we're meeting up with Nasser Ahmed Al Sharji, Group Senior Vice President for Public Services and National Projects for ASEAD. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Lachmi, for having me here. It's our honor to have you here, sir, and we really want to know what ASEAD is all about and its main role. So how would you actually describe ASEAD's role? ASEAD uh, is uh, the most uh, comprehensive uh, end-to-end uh, logistic provider in the Middle East, uh, covering uh, ports, uh, free zones, and uh, multi-mode uh, transportations. Mm-hmm. Uh, in actual fact, uh, ASEAD has uh, two primary mandates the first is uh, to maximize the return on the government investment in, in the ports, uh, free zones, and uh, transport uh, companies. Mm. And uh, secondly, ASEAD also is responsible uh, for executing the Sultanate of Oman Logistic Strategy 2040, known as uh, SOLS, with the vision of ASEAD is uh, inspires uh, to become a top uh, 10 global integrated logistics service provider by 2040 mm. and its mission also to propel the development of Oman as a global logistics uh, hubs contributing uh, to the economic growth uh, through our group of uh, companies. Okay. And um, so it is a government holding company? Yeah, it's 100% owned uh, by government. Um, and that means you are in the business of movement completely. Yes, uh, we are in the business uh, of movement. Uh, we move uh, people and uh, passengers. Mm-hmm. And apart from that, uh, we, of course, uh, own a number of uh, ports and uh, free zones. We facilitate uh, tradings across mm-hmm. the, the countries. Uh, and also we are representative uh, of uh, logistics sectors in Oman. So even Mausalat comes into this? Yes, Mausalat is owned by ASEAD. Okay. And um, what would you say, because it's also known as the Oman Global Logistics Company, that was what it was known, and ASEAD is a brand name now, and it means the master of the sea. So um, sea seems to be pretty important, would you say? Yes. uh, The official names of ASEAD is Oman Global Logistics Company, Mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, it was uh, branded uh, as uh, ASEAD, as we know that uh, Oman has a long history of seas and uh, travels mm-hmm. uh, uh, since the generations. Uh, and, uh, they are master of the sea. They've been in the seas. Uh, and uh, ASEAD represents uh, logistics uh, sectors. Uh, and the brand also represents uh, the actual supply chain and the logistic business, uh, especially in the movement of uh, goods and, uh, and people. Mm-hmm. Now, um, how is ASEAN being an international logistics hub? Because I know logistics is one of the most important elements for diversification of the economy, and Tanfit had highlighted on. So how would you describe it being international logistics hub? Uh, rightly, you have said, let me, that uh, logistics is a forefront uh, in the contribution of uh, economy in the country. Uh, ASEAD, uh, apart from its role to unite uh, logistic service in the country, mm-hmm. is also actively work uh, to create an open, efficient, uh, effective and global integrated uh, business environment uh, to link Oman to the world and uh, world to Oman mm-hmm. so that uh, the connectivity is harmonized in the trade sectors And, of course, uh, doing that, we need also to create a favorable and legislative structure uh, that will uh, promote uh, foreign investment in the country. Mm. 
Uh, we are looking forward uh, to building a very strong reputation for the national by providing the most uh, comprehensive logistics services. And uh, this is related to development and marketing initiatives, including value propositioning. On the other hand, uh, to, to be competitive globally, we should focus on technology advancement and human capital innovation. And of course, uh, without uh, leaving the upskillings of uh, uh, human capitals, we start awareness about the sectors uh, here and of course uh, international and global and uh, we are also engaging uh, with uh, students uh, researchers who are interested in logistics and uh, to enable them information and provision as well to equip them with the required tools to be part of this uh, big uh, vision and, uh, and mission of, of, of the country and, of course, uh, of, of ASEAN. And um, how would you say, uh, when it comes to market intelligence, do you keep a track of what's going on in the global? Of course, I'm sure you do. But in how intensively are you following the global trends? Uh, ASEAN is well equipped to up-to-date information and of course uh, we have uh, different uh, units and different departments with, uh, with a different focus and uh, one of the good things that uh, ASEAN uh, is doing uh, and has been doing uh, for the last uh, few years since the formations they really analyze the current situations uh, and the current uh, existence of all uh, operating company, united them together and also bring them synergies and also to they have put a very good strategies and uh, thanks to our leaders uh, and the leaderships and our chairman, they have very good uh, clarities uh, where we are and where we are heading. And apart from that, we monitor the marketing and uh, we have a direction, we have strategies and uh, we, we drive through those uh, strategies. Uh, the vision of the National Innovation Strategy of the Sultanate is that Oman is to be in the top 40 on the Global Innovation Index, GII, by 2020 and be in the top 20 by 2040. What could be ASEAN's contribution towards achieving this target, according to you? Yes, uh, that is uh, the vision of National Innovation Strategy is, is quite ambitious and uh, it, it needs a lot of uh, efforts and hard working. From ASEAD perspectives, uh, we have identified the areas and we, we are working and we have created a research and development fund for the sectors. Uh, we are working on also creating an appropriate uh, structures uh, and governors uh, for the innovation in, in, in logistics and implementation of the strategy. Of course, uh, there is a lot of uh, innovation input uh, that need to be put, uh, especially when we talk about uh, institutions. Uh, ASEAD contribution is, is working closely with the other key players, uh, including the government uh, and uh, the business, to improve the environment uh, and uh, innovation, regulation and the business focus on technology and logistics. We are looking also on the human capital development and research. Uh, that also is one of the important uh, elements in, in innovations. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's about uh, how we create a supportive environment uh, as well as uh, incubating the, 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 the researchers who are keen to, to contribute innovations. We have uh, IBHAR uh, incubators. Uh, we are working with the different research centers uh, <coughs> on this uh, to incubate uh, uh, student researchers who are very keen in, in contribution to, to, to the logistics. One of the elements uh, important is also infrastructures, the innovation centers, mm -hmm. uh, all the system required in, in, in logistics, uh, warehousing, and of course the transportation uh, systems. Uh, we, we also work on uh, business sophistication. Uh, uh, as you know, ASEAN include all the stakeholders and the business players to work together in achieving all targets related to logistic innovations. 
uh, ASEAD uh, builds a good linkage with uh, different international uh, logistics and different international practice as a key players and uh, we are involving uh, and we are talking to uh, private sectors uh, and working together uh, to really improve the overall uh, logistics uh, sectors. We'll take a short break and be right back. You're listening to Innovation Roadmap. The National Innovation System requires the harmonization and integration of innovation policies. You are listening to the National Innovation Strategy. to Innovation Roadmap, a special program brought to you by the Research Council with Radio Sultanate of Oman. Today, our guest is Mr. Nasser Ahmed Al Sharji, Group Senior Vice President, Public Services and National Projects. We've been looking into the world of logistics and where ASEAD is the most comprehensive end-to-end logistics provider in the Middle East, just as our guest has described it. And now, obviously, free zones and the ports are all part of it and the network of Mars that you're seeing, and it's ever-expanding. How does it look for you, the logistics, and the response from the public? Uh, logistics uh, is a way of life, and uh, I think it has a bright future for the nations and uh, being Oman very strategical locations. It has uh, quite uh, big potentials uh, to develop and uh, I'm very optimistic. I'm very proud of myself for being part of these uh, systems and uh, development of logistics. And uh, I can see there's quite a lot of uh, development is happening in logistics, uh, in technology and the movement of people, movement of goods. And that become part of our life. Uh, and supply chain, efficiency of supply chain have become very, very critical for any of uh, success and for any national to be successful uh, logistics uh, has to be efficient effective uh, and uh, the whole society depends on logistics you touch any things uh, uh, logistics must be in uh, i mean uh, it's part of our life uh, for anything that we do we buy we consume there must be a logistic uh, part of it mm. That is true. It is touching everyone's lives. Yes. And the free zones are very exciting too. Yes. uh, Free zones, uh, they are quite uh, interesting. And uh, looking at, uh, we have got uh, quite uh, very attractive uh, opportunities in our free zones. Uh, We have in Sohar, we have in Salalas. uh, and of course, uh, we have uh, the project also very close uh, to, to Muscat in Khazain, mm-hmm. uh, 51 million square meters. And uh, uh, it's quite uh, interesting and there's a lot of potentials. Of, uh, Can you tell us about Khazain and the potential? Yes, uh, Khazain is, uh, is, is a development uh, land that uh, is around uh, 51 million square meter. Mm-hmm and it has a lot of potential to expand. Uh, it's very close to Muscat. Uh, it's just uh, 30 minutes driving uh, from Sib, and uh, it's a greenfield project, and it has a lot of uh, potentials. Mm. We have uh, investors already uh, to put the infrastructures, okay. uh, so the infrastructure should be ready. The, the master plan uh, is almost uh, under finalizations. There are quite a number of uh, potentials uh, for the investors uh, to put uh, industries, uh, logistic centers, uh, dry ports, and, and, and many other logistic activities, which are very close uh, to Muscat. Mm. So it's something that they should, everyone should be thinking about. Yes, it's quite a very good location, and is, I think it's only a location that very close to Muscat mm-hmm. uh, with this capacity. Uh, it it can take it you know you can set up a quite uh, complex uh, business or industries uh, in logistics and distribution center. And so there would be warehouses. Yes, there will be a warehouses. There will be industries, uh, small industries, uh, and of course some some complex uh, and ITC kind mm-hmm. of. Uh, Excellent. Now, uh, when we look at innovation. 
Are there measures taken by ASEAD to encourage innovation specifically? Is it back of your mind? Yeah. Uh, in logistic, ASEAD has been very active uh, in innovations. Uh, they've got a number of programs. Uh, we even have uh, something is going to happen on January. It's called uh, Hackathons. Mm-hmm. It's a smart city platform uh, which focus on logistic and innovations. Uh, we are working with a research center on this uh, in partnership. Uh, we bring uh, new startups uh, to come together and uh, bring uh, business ideas and uh, you know uh, developing ideas which are related to innovation in logistics mm-hmm. itself. Uh, we had also a program called Ibhar. Uh, also, there's, I think it's a successful program uh, where bring uh, researchers and the student and uh, job seekers uh, together and work on uh, on innovations uh, in logistics. Apart from that, ASEAD has been uh, supporting these kind of initiatives. Uh, we provide uh, space uh, for working uh, for research and developer. We connect them with the market. We also provide a guidance. Uh, we have our expertise. Uh, we use our companies, uh, the United Company of Logistics, uh, the, the overall logistics company that are available with us to transfer knowledge, to incubate and give them opportunity to learn and uh, to discover the, their, their dreams and in, in, to, 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 to have more kind of uh, research and understanding and use actually the, the, the real world. Amazing. So there are a lot of opportunities for R&D too. Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, logistic, as I mentioned, it's, it's, it's revolving and technology is becoming uh, very much uh, changing and, and advancing uh, and uh, as I say, the supply chain of logistics uh, from the manufacturer to the port uh, to the consumers, mm-hmm. uh, it's all technology. And uh, without technology, logistics become very difficult. And, and management. That, Even in management, you can get innovation, right? Yes. In technology management. And logistics is all about management. You are right. Uh, th- these are areas that are revolving now. And uh it also bring the cost and efficiencies mm. and you cannot live without uh, innovations without really improving your overall uh, systems and overall uh, technology mm. and uh, technologies all across the uh, logistic uh, pillar from end to end you will find a technology and uh, ASEAD has been uh, working very hard uh, on this uh, to bring uh, innovations also to improve the overall technology uh, to make more integration among the business uh, so that uh, we can synergize and bring efficiencies uh, they all across the chains. Uh. Okay. Now, um, you also believe that uh, the primary role is to create the mental environment in Oman? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's a role that is a national role uh, mm. to every organization and uh, I think every individual uh, to ensure that uh, uh, we are responsible, it's a national responsibility to create a mental and to make sure that our young generations uh, are coming and uh, are understanding and we share our experience. For us, for example, in, in, in logistics, uh, we we also own uh, International Maritime College. Mm. Uh, is part of the logistic group. Mm. We use it and uh, we, we, we ensure that uh, we also focus on uh, logistics. And of course, uh, we have a relation with many other institutions and college uh, to share our experience. And I think uh, now the, the the curriculum of logistics also in the country has started and uh, a lot of young people are starting learning about logistics. And this is a future that uh, we would really like to see uh, more and more Omanis uh, coming to the field of logistics. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. You're listening to Innovation Roadmap. More than 70 Omani experts and specialists representing various governmental, private, academic and civil institutions have been actively involved in the development of a national innovation strategy project, which was approved by the Cabinet in 2016. You are listening to the National Innovation Strategy.
You're listening to Innovation Roadmap, a special program brought to you by the Research Council with Radio Sultanate of Oman. Our guest is Nasser Ahmed Al Shaji, Senior Vice President, Public Services and National Projects. Now, on the Global Innovation Index (GII) report, Oman is ranked 47 in terms of logistics performance. What are the initiatives taken by ASEAD to boost performances on this particular indicator? Are you already on the move? I'm sure you are. That, that's a good question, uh, Lachmi. Yes, we are on the roadmap uh, to boost uh, our performance at uh, the Innovation Index through facilitating uh, trades and enhancing regulations, uh, building a world-class infrastructure, uh, leveraging uh, technologies, uh, disruptive uh, enables, and build uh, human capital uh, capacities uh, and skills. On other levels, uh, we are also working on uh, trade facilitation, and there's quite a lot of effort has been put uh, to improve uh, trade facilitation in the country and uh, ensure also speed in terms of clearance and gathering uh, solutions for the joint inspection. And uh, there are quite uh, tangible uh, results has been seen. Uh, for example, we witnessed in Sohar a reduction of uh, times of dwell uh, from eight days to five days, mm. and we are aiming to reduce even uh, further. Uh, there's also a lot of other area that uh, we would uh, like uh, to, to improve, and uh, of course in terms of uh, trade facilitation, in terms of uh, enhancing also regulation, uh, we work with all the uh, stakeholders in the countries, uh, all initiatives are currently happening, and uh, as I mentioned, our focus uh, is, is also on uh, human uh, research and, uh, and also knowledge and technology output. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the market uh, we can't also ignore. So we, we are doing a lot uh, of different uh, things uh, to improve this. Okay. Now, ASEAD is partnering between the host of companies in the nation, including Oman Post, Marcelet, National Ferries Company, Port of Dukham, Port of Salala, Oman Dry Dock and Soha Free Zone, among others. And that gives ASEAD their diverse roles. So would ASEAD be looking for collaboration with educational institutions, help to encourage innovation in scientific projects? Yeah, as I mentioned, we have a very high engagement with the majority of educational institutes in the country. Uh, the main engagement is uh, towards uh, bridging the gaps uh, between the employers and uh, expected for the graduates and the education offering and also building the necessary skills set uh, required. Uh, however, this uh, engagement has moved to another level where the student can approach uh, ASEAD uh, for their project and ASEAD links them with the right company within the group uh, within the sector itself. Also, as I mentioned, we have uh, International Maritime College is also part of ASEAD uh, mm -hmm. and contribute uh, significantly to train the logistics sector professionally in the country and also for, for the futures. Uh, in addition to that, ASEAD uh, has uh, arranged uh, a logistic uh, hackathon in coordination with the research uh, councils, uh, which will happen in January in Sohar. And the purpose for these initiatives are to gather students and researchers to solve logistic issues in, in Sohar and innovating solutions. There is already high engagement with the majority of education institutes uh, in Oman. Uh, the main engagement it was bridging the gaps and uh, what the employer expects and what employees, uh, you know, kind of uh, skill set required. So matching that, this engagement has moved to another level where students approach us uh, this is quite a good development that it's uh, going to the level yes grassroots. Yeah. now the last question is very important and it is understood that the national logistics strategy 2040 also aims at increasing the contribution of logistics services to the nation's gross domestic product which is expected to reach 14 billion amani reals in 2040 in addition to creating 300,000 jobs in the sector this sees tremendous opportunity for innovation where do you think are the areas that is being in focus now? We have uh, been uh, working with uh, SOLS uh, for four years now. We have delivered our plan milestone for the period. For example, if we look at the logistic performance uh, index uh, from uh, 59, 
we achieved uh, 43. That was quite uh, significant and uh, we are very proud of it. Uh, improvement of uh, 16 position, such jumps is not possible without uh, multi-layer plans. We have designed and uh, started implementing from modifying regulation, procedures, uh, streamlining operation and governance and uh, also increase the connectivities and integration of our logistic assets. On the job creation fronts, the sector has had 30,000 jobs when we started implementing our strategy. Uh, today we have 84,000 jobs. Okay. That is quite a significant uh, jump. We have created uh, 54 over the last four years. Mm -hmm. By saying that, we still need to address uh, issues of humanization ratio in the sectors, mm -hmm. uh, which is standing around 16% uh, and overall uh, in the sector today. Uh, however, the Oman is uh, occupy 40% of uh, the nature of the sectors, uh, and uh, they're quite different uh, types of roles. And uh, as you know, that logistics uh, sector is uh, low skills uh, jobs are there. Yes. Yeah. And. Um as we wrap up, you'd like to say, give us a brief on the national projects that we could be looking into? Uh, part of our national responsibility, we are working uh, on the development of uh, IT platform, uh, which uh, will, uh, will support uh, logistic sectors and also will improve uh, industry standards. The, the system uh, will, be we will require the trucks uh, owners and uh, the, those who are carrying goods and the passengers to have uh, vehicle operating cards and also it will help also to improve uh, standards uh, in the country. Apart from that, also we are responsible of protecting the roads. We have some project that we are working with the Ministry of uh, Transport in building a way bridge in Albatna Express Road. Mm -hmm. That is also part of our national responsibility. Uh, as you know, that the movement of heavy trucks and uh, you know the, the control of which is very important to protect our national assets uh, uh, in a different road. We have a very good uh, road infrastructure in the country. Uh, we have uh, also some of the project of uh, rest areas in the different areas. We have started with uh, Sohar uh, free zones. Uh, we are expecting by January uh, to conclude the award uh, with the preferred bidders uh, who will build the rest area for the trucks. That also will help to control uh, trucks around uh, and uh, the driver also to have a facility. This is also part of uh, our logistic role to ensure that the drivers have places to rest. This is uh, phase one and uh, we have uh, phase two which will build... Uh, more trucks area across the countries, uh, one in uh, Barka, mm -hmm. and we have also three in Thamret, uh, Salala, uh, Thamret, Dukum, and uh, Adam, uh, which also we have already floated a tender. Mm -hmm. And those areas, uh, driver can go and have a rest, and they will have uh, different facilities. Uh, there will be a restaurant, uh, there will be facility for the driver to, to, to have a rest, uh, and this is also part of our national responsibility. Fantastic. On that lovely note, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining us today on Innovation Roadmap, Mr. Nasser Ahmed Al Shaji, Senior Vice President, Public Services and National Projects. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you very much, Lajmi. It was a good interview and I uh, really appreciate it. Pleasure is ours. With Ahmed Al Aremi, I'm Lakshmi Kathana, thanking you for joining us. National Innovation Strategy. Innovation Roadmap, an introduction to National Innovation Strategy from the Research Council.